Hello and welcome. I am Nancy and you are watching news today. It's time for headlines. Russia wants to destroy the normal life of every European citizen, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said. It is trying to attack with poverty and political chaos where it cannot yet attack with missiles, Mr. Zelensky said in his regular address on Saturday. He was speaking hours after Russia said that its main gas pipeline to Europe would not reopen as planned. Europe accused Russia of using its gas supplies to blackmail Europe amid the Ukraine conflict, which Moscow denies. Energy prices have soared since Russia invaded Ukraine on the 24th of February and scarce supplies could push up costs even further. There are growing fears families in the EU will be unable to afford the cost of heating this winter. The standoff with Russia has forced countries to fill their own gas supplies, with Germany's stores increasing from less than half in June to 84% full today. Europe is attempting to wean itself off Russian energy in an effort to reduce Moscow's ability to finance the war. Russia's state energy firm Gazprom announced on Friday the Nord Stream 1 pipeline could be closed indefinitely. The pipeline, which runs to Germany, had been shut for three days for what Gazprom described as maintenance work and had been due to reopen. The G7 consists of the UK, US, Canada, France, Germany, Italy and Japan. Their introduction of a price cap means countries that sign up to the policy will be permitted to purchase only Russian oil and petroleum products transported via sea that are sold at or below the price cap. However, Russia says it will not export to countries that participate in the cap. The gas pipeline stretches from the Russian coast near St. Petersburg to northeastern Germany and can carry up to 170 million cubic meters of gas a day. This is not the first time since the invasion that the Nord Stream 1 pipeline has been closed.